My lovely wife is a Harry Potter nerd. I've been meaning to repaint these owl bookends for her to look like Hedwig. As you can clearly see, I'm finally getting around to doing it. First layer is gesso. Gesso. Enjoy the generic Harry Potter music. I'm starting with burnt sienna and copper because Shiny. and I'll be using a high flow medium because I want it to be thinner because paint so chunky so chunky so chunky so chunky let's uh, watch me paint for a little bit For Hedwig himself, I'm using this really pretty iridescent paint. It's a little hard to see. From this angle, you can really see that iridescence. Just the owl and the mistletoe hanging out. Um, here I'm painting a darker brown for, I guess, the dirt part of it and here I am deciding that maybe I should try to deepen some crevices I don't I think I got this all backwards I probably should have painted it with the darker color and then gone in with the lighter color but you know it's all part of the learning process and here I'm attempting to highlight there are many layers that I uh, go through on this painting process, so I'm just gonna kinda fast forward a little bit to a more finished version of it. One, two, three, fast forward. Because Hedwig is a snow owl, I decided to move into a more snowy direction. So I'm really packing on those highlights here. Now I'm painting his eyes a very bright yellow. Before I can paint the black pupils, I'm gonna let the yellow dry. So in the meantime, I'm painting on the pine needles on the tree. Because it's acrylic paint, it dries super fast. So now I get to add very carefully the black pupils to the eye. If it looks wonky, don't worry, I do fix it later. I was dreading adding these black spots to such a perfectly white owl, but it has to be done. It's a snow owl. Um, it looks fine, but ugh, I was kind of nervous doing it. Once I saw just how cute this looked, how it really pulled it all together, I had more confidence to really go in there with the black. And uh, as you can see, it was looking really good. I decided that these owls needed something a bit more uh, added to it in order to really push the snowy feel that they're Outside, they're a snow owl. There's gotta be snow. 
So what I did is I took some Mod Podge and some glitter and mixed them together and just piled it onto any surface that made sense for snow to be on. Oh my God, look how cute they are. I'm so excited. Oh, they look so good. There's still one more step to do, and that is painting the outside bits this beautiful color blue. Since my wife is Ravenclaw and uh, some of our decorating theme throughout the house has this blue color, it fits really nicely with the owl. And then I'm just gonna come in with a Posca pen and paint some gold stars to make it celestial and... Uh, I don't know the word for it. Whimsical? I then decide to carry the whimsy of the stars into the base there that I repainted blue because I really didn't like that brown from earlier. So cute, oh my God. I want this for myself. Before the reveal reel, hover that wand over the like button and give it a little flick. <laughs> and or get that quill moving and write, I will always leave comments on videos at least a hundred times. In the comments, please. Thank you.